but you, you got to score 80 to beat the card. Yeah, Washington State knows they have to make shots here if they're going to stop this losing streak. 72 in a row for the Stanford Cardinal, and we are underway. Just saw Billa in the top. One of the couple of freshmen added to the roster this year. And Patete, high post, found herself open, around and out. You could see the hesitancy to shoot that ball. Bella Mary Patete has got to be just comfortable in that shot because if she has it, she's got to take it. Yeah, the fifth-year senior, she's their all-time leader in blocks, fourth in rebounding overall, and she's a, an aggressive leader for this team. They need her to be ready to go. Jump threaded by Villa. Brink, no hesitation. Turns and swish. So when you think about how do we stop Stanford and then you throw into that recipe, Cameron Brink taking and making threes, it just gets immensely tougher. <laughs> it certainly does. Every single play. Back cut, Boscana. And defense losing her momentarily. Wallet got a break on that one. The missed layup from Boscana. Boscana, the junior from Greece, played his 28 game last year, but she has started every game this year. Camry Etheridge, Sepp, talking to her team in her sixth season as the head coach. What a season last year, getting her team to the tournament for the third year in a row after winning the Pac-12 championship tournament game. She's as good a coach as she was a player, and she was one of the best point guards to ever play the game. No doubt. A Hall of Famer, women's basketball, played at Texas, and that one drops in. Charlize Ledger Walker needs to go off and have a humongous game if they're going to get the upset. Yeah, her numbers have been a little bit down. The senior maybe thinking a little too much about it. Oh, extra effort by Brink, and she gets fouled. Tara Vanderveer in her 38th season here at Stanford. Just incredible, her numbers, and Mary just five wins away from becoming the all-time winningest coach, male or female really she, something she was not a great player at indiana she was a good player at indiana but she is clearly one of the best to ever coach the game of basketball yeah there's no doubt it's good to go the stanford team fourth in the nation in free throw shooting they're shooting as a team 82 percent that is impressive Villa, hesitation, baseline drive good. There's some confidence from the freshman from Italy. Yeah, as you watch her play, you can tell she's played against them with a lot of experience. And the drive in at the other end. Lawrence B, the transfer from Idaho, 2,002 career points coming into this game. Really something. And she's going to have her hands full with Iriaf and just matching up with her. Yeah. And Cameron Green faces up one on one. Help D coming over, tries to drive it in and can't get it. The transition D by the Cougs, getting back. Stanford trying to push. Wallach matching up with jump, just not helping, not concerned about anything except Hannah Jump. Yeah. Such a remarkable score as a travel call. Left or right, maybe a little baby hook. Nope, the step back. It's just almost indefensible. Yeah, she has put the work in, that extra time. And you can tell, you can see it. There's a calmness about her offense. Three ball, won't fall for Villa. The rebound down to Courtney Ogden, the freshman who's checked in. She and Brooke Dimitri on the floor for Stanford. And now Erie often gets into the action. Early position as well as anybody in the country. I mean, she is sprinting the floor, showing a target, and if she gets it, great. But if not, she just gets you right into early offense. I was impressed with her last year, but this year she's more than doubled her minutes. Her numbers just have gone up, and the confidence level way up. Look at Tete, almost a little fader on the baseline from an efficiency standpoint. She has 58% shooting from the floor as Mary Tete coming into this one. She shot 49% last year. Started every game. Here she is, high post, ball fake. And tries to bank it. Good positioning by B. The second effort, it pays off. Someone to get it to. And now asking for the screen. That's something Tara Vanderbilt told her. She said, I'm happy with her getting more offensive looks. Post trip is that kind of really, really good. Player on the floor for Washington State has scored a bucket. And that one rattled out. It looked good from L.A. Villa. 
freshman from Italy. No complaints on her shot selection. Good look and options. Brings a lot of international experience. Plays with the Italian national team system. Very often help D. The kick out to Lapolo. Swish. B. Trying to draw some contact. Shot off the mark. Oh, gets it to break. What a beautiful shot. Just a beautiful stroke. If Kiki Ariathan's in the end, get it to her. Hannah yeah. jumps, a great option three. That's the thing about Harriel, Tori Vanderbilt told us she, she really plays within herself. She knows her role. Red trick sophomore. And a travel call, though. Ariathan, double team coming over. Okay. High to low, gets a little closer, can't get the shot though. Yeah, Cammy Ethridge told us look, today, she said turnovers have been a really big problem for them as of late. They've got to take care of it here against the Cardinal. Knocked around and another turn, a tough break. So the Cardinal can capitalize. Very often does. The trail side lays it up good and they extend the lead to six yeah eerie often in transition whether she's leading it or trailing it just finds a way four turnovers in the last four minutes for washington state also they haven't given up a lot of points off of them so that's a plus but they're giving up those opportunities we'll see they can hang it up here with the back door cut wide open it's a lot of space because you're leaning so forward worried about those three-point shot attempts <laughs> yep that's the there you go. There you go. Rattles it in. Genevieve. Yeah, didn't have a clean look. Brink. The trail. The three. No good. And an over back call. Got to go with intent to wherever you're thinking about going. Oh, well, it's a shot clock violation instead. The Cougs stick with it. And Merkin Tete. Remember the first undefeated NCAA championship team. And Put up on America. B. Smaller defender takes it in just short. This is just the first game back for B. She's missed five prior, had started nine for nine. And straight through behind the yard. Fine Brooke Dimitri in transition. First point of the game for Dimitri. Junior from Little Ranch, California. Clark was calling for it against Iriatha, and that was pretty. Right side baseline. But just be smart in the way that you score. They step, have a little room, and have a beautiful arc on it. How about that play? Iriatha for practice earlier this year, and just you can feel the amount of work that she's putting in and just the adjustment to college. It's coming. Missed a couple of games, had a foot injury, they've gotten her back. Double team on Clark and gets the shooter's touch. Washington State scoring down there with America Tete on the bench. That's just bonus money. Yeah, they got to have others to go with it. There's Lapolo, his perfect two for two behind the arc. High screen for Villa, shot way off, and it's going to go the other direction. We talk about this all the time, Krista, that if you're playing Stanford and Cameron Brinks on the bench, you must take advantage of those minutes. Yep, certainly so. Getting it done. Villa, too much. Oh, she is not shy. A problem for Washington right now. Across the bay. That one won't go for Erie often. Sherman Smith has done an outstanding yep. job in the transfer portal. Yep, she has definitely used it to her advantage. The right pieces. She has embraced her role and really taken it to the next level. Yeah, the numbers have been so good. She's averaging 14. She's got great hands. Can't get that free throw and gets the second. It's been so good. Four of the last five builders have gone. That one won't go, though. Just short. You're doing a good job defensively when Hannah Jump hasn't taken a three-pointer. <laughs> Ricochette was running the floor. Erie often got back with her, but she screams out and wanted that 
pass. She'll get that one to go instead. Boy, you can look at Marika Tete's numbers, but when you watch her play, how improved she is just jumps right out at you. Yep. She's worked on so many parts of her game. You see it jump, just keeps curling. Left hand good. She was, was a three-point spot-up shooter. No more. She's the all-time leader in threes here, but you're right. That's something that really stood out as Mirka Tete on the right side off the backboard. And she just came down to doing the flex. <laughs> Washington State within six with Charlize Ledger Walker with just two points. And that tells you others are getting it done. She's averaging 13 points per game. And if she's not going, somebody else has been. Clark's been good off the bench and gets another. Clinic on a low post, 15 foot out offense. Lucky baby hook for Clark. She got six points. I mean, would you have thought that Washington State would have more points in the paint than Stanford at this juncture? <laughs> Not at all. Get the cross, raising the iron. Weak side board is good. Good effort from McGarren. Major Walker. Charlize, so it opens up this match is inside and just a beautiful feed from Charlize. And that's something Cami Etheridge said, so important for our team to read how they're defending us tonight in this one. We read that one perfectly within four. Here we off it. Offensive foul. Yep. That's just two very experienced players knowing how to play basketball. Yep. Good positioning by B. Clark almost lost it. She did. Wow, squares it up and hits it. Jess Clark on second part. Very often. Too much. Good box out by B. Just to tie it or go ahead. Game clock is off. 20 on the shot clock. Making some noise. That's a Walker straight through. Charlize has not made a three since November. Oh, for December, Ledger Walker. It's a huge one. That confidence here to Maples, and this is a team that feels like they belong, feels like they can beat Stanford, and that's that's half the battle. You're absolutely right. They bring back three starters from that championship team. And they have experience, and you can feel it. They're not giving up, no matter what kind of a run Stanford threw at them. Yeah, gets hand off and gets it first point to the second half to Stanford. Hannah Jump is just quietly so valuable. Her game has just changed and improved every single season. And there's Brink with a swat. And the Brink effect. The timing, impressive leader now with 342 and then also give her an assist high to low and now we see a very different Stanford team brink on the floor block at one end high low brink to Iriafin good communication making the extra pass not forcing and that's what Tara said so we've got to get back to doing our what we do best up deep and Toscana Ledger Walker quick shot rattles out he knows of the shots that must fall for the Cougs. An open look from three. The Polo dishes it over. Iriafin can't make it, but it's tipped out. It stays with Stanford. Iriafin, we're going high-low. All the work early. Just follow the ball. The catch is what's important, and then the finish. Great focus from Kiki Iriafin. Eight points for Iriafin. Brink up top, she's already hit one, that one too much on it. Again, no AT, no Astera Tahina for Washington State. She's out with the lower leg injury. She had started every single game, and so Villa gets the start tonight. It's a huge loss. I mean, she's yep. a really good shooter from two, from three. Yeah. Tremendous defense. <laughs> Not happy, they'll go the other direction. 
But yeah, 18, and she's 43% shooter out behind the arc. And right there, Ledger Walker. She was 0 for 16. Two so far in January, both against Stanford. And it, there's, it's really difficult to not let that build up in your mind. Of As a course. shooter, you know when you've not been hitting. And she's been trying to work through it. Tries to cut, tries to reverse, can't get it. Darren Brink to take another one. The Stanford team that's really been enjoying this group, They've been having fun. That, that's a tough matchup for her to guard Erie Offen, one on one down low. Six one. Nine points for Erie Offen. Junior from Los Angeles. She can defend at a high level, much like Erie Offen, but a different kind of defender. Yeah. Wallet leaves around, finds Erica Tete in the high post and brings all over and blocks it. Again, you can feel just communicating so much more with her teammates on both ends of the floor. And she's having a good year. Back winding down. Gara back in and Hezzy. It's the shot off. But not in time, so they force the turnover. If you'd like to go through me, do it, but I don't think you can. <laughs> Walker, no hesitation on that one. That's right. No freeze in December. <laughs> Starting to pile them up in January. She's having a whole new year. She's got 11 points. Three of four behind the arc. As Brink gets fouled. Corner. And that has to feel good for everybody on that Washington State bench and Shirley's Ledger Walker and the family back in New Zealand. Yeah, you have to hope that that just sort of releases everything for her and lets her continue to play the game. Coming into this game was only shooting 18%. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're a shooter, you're a scorer. It's so if we're getting to the line. We gain the lead. Tenth lead change of this one. The post game is going to tighten up because of the presence of Brink. They have to step out and make big shots. Yep. And you could have to hit. And you're going to have a chance in this one. Brink gives it up. Lapolo gives it right back. And a lot of contact, yeah. Definition foul. And as a freshman, 65%. Right. Dropped to 62% as a sophomore. Yeah, she's only missed five all year. She's at 94%. Wow, just incredible. Third in the nation in that category. Even talent, hard work, but also a competitiveness that is almost unmatched. And a travel call on the baseline for Funk. Guarded by Villain now. Here's Brink up high off the back of the iron. Good box out by the Cougs. Drew Walker with the cross over the trail by Clark. Oh, she can't get it. Brink. To come from the free throw line, Mary. They've been on a little bit of a scoring drought as far as field goals go. They get it into break. The backboard and good. And not hit the backboard as well, but perfect placement and the finish for Brink. Brink. Brink's got a pretty bad scratch. Yep. Or two. 15 points, 10 rebounds for Brink. And good recognition by Dimitri on the D. Lays it up good. Washington, all they can ask for over in Berkeley tonight. So uh, we're going to see these numbers just continue to improve. Had two personals in the first half and sat most of the second quarter. She's still sitting with two personals. Great job this quarter. Gets a swish. Six of those a week ago Friday at Cal. And give another assist to Cameron Brink, and she was celebrating with Apollo on that one. And Erica Tete's shot won't drop. Everything that was going down for Bella America Tete not going down. Dimitri Balfe sticks it. So valuable defensively, offensively. Always in a good mood. Great player in the locker room. And here's Cammy saying, but you need to go here, and then when that happens, <laughs> just find your way over there. Well, her team has fought off several runs by Stanford tonight. Can they get back in this one? How about that? The
curl and the finish. That's Jenna Villa with the three. Boy, they have some really talented young players. Yeah, great addition. The freshman from Arlington, Washington. She's really have one freshman of the week on her, but Brink in the low post. That was over so early. Brink had the position, just get her the ball and let her go do her thing. A nice idea and trying to save it, but they can't. They thought maybe she could be an X factor in this game. In the case, Brink, Fader, Ayarker. The rebound on the other side from Ogden, another chance. And Brink and Burke, yeah. they going at it. Could be Bella's third personal foul. With 17 points, 12 boards, and a couple of assists as well. And she's perfect from the line. She got triple teamed. And contact across the face. And she's one for two. First miss of the night from the line. Just a little over a minute left in the third quarter. And the largest lead of the game for Stanford up by 10. Roger Walker, get some room, and does. Just so smart. She read that. She read the room. Your mom's been a pro. Your mom's one of the greatest <laughs> players ever in, in yeah. New Zealand. Time Olympian. Assistant Crystal, of course, play for Washington State. Yeah, perfect timing. Four of eight shooting. Winding down. Villa. Too much. Ledger Walker. Clock winding down, but Brink's going to get called at the last. There has been all Stanford, and if you think about how long that drought was, it's really been yeah. the last five minutes. One for two for Ledger Walker. Well, you saw what Dimitri could do defensively out in the perimeter and how she ran the floor, could shoot the three. Has that one, long rebound, Brink gets another. Kira Gardner's in for the Cougs, 12 in charcoal gray. Haven't seen her this entire game. That one won't go. That one seemed pretty clear to me. Yep. Second personal for Erie Alpin. Clark, the pass a little too low. Like a turn by the Cougs. It's their 11th of the game. Played a fairly clean game. Very often high to low and should go to the line. He's worked on making a difference. Yeah, when your game goes from just playing one side to being able to do a, 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 a big time. The numbers for the night. Get that free throw in. Half, I'd say they definitely were controlling that third quarter. Everything helps when camera breaks on the floor. Yep. Short for jump. Third personal on the polo. And Tete almost rattled, got herself almost into the air. And yep. Cameron Brink, you start getting rushed a little bit and you make mistakes. Cameron Edwards is asking why. Fake one way, go the other. Earlier in the season, back in the November tournament against Florida State, 30 points, 17 rebounds. Get in your grill kind of team. That was a big win. It was. Another chance, Villa. Takes a swatted, but it's right to her teammate. And she'll take this jumper instead around and so many chances in the world. Break. Off the iron. Nibble into this lead yeah. a little bit and they haven't been able to come away with points. Great cut. And the finish. Put it on the floor and go somewhere with some authority. 13 foul on Washington State. Both teams with three. Good time left in this quarter. Polo using the screen. For Lapolo. She's four. She right out there. Yeah, made six against Cal. Her Pac 12 numbers are oh, outstanding. Oh, they sure are. That one will go for Ledger Walker. Home here at Stanford. 
she's a player, Coach Vanderbilt says she's she's about winning. She's about doing what's best for the team. Sometimes that's scoring, sometimes it's dishing as Brink hangs on. America Tete could Bella America Tete do to stop Brink. Not much. Outstanding de defense, but just better offense. And Brink coming over. One of the big differences in this game is at the free throw line. Stanford plus nine in free throws made. And it's a 12-point ball game. Oh, and again, one opportunity to go back. She's got three fouls. Three fouls play is good. For the intensity, the focus, and really the teaminess of her, it, it really shows through. And the grad student, okay. <laughs> All right, put that on Sports okay. Center. against him. Cameron Brink, the block master. <laughs> and then let's just go get it. Block. Now that's just showing off, isn't it? When right? you just go jump up and get it. I mean, it feels good, I'm sure, to <laughs> swat it out of bounds, but when you can keep it in play and actually keep possession. Yeah! Oh, Billa. Oh, Billa. Jump for second attempt. That one rattles out. Here he often kept that alive. Skip across. Uh, Stanford has not really been able to yeah. just run away from these coups. Nope, they have not. Two and a half left in this fourth. Villas had some threes and gets another. Jenna, the the coups don't go away. They get it below double figures now. The nine point Stanford lead. Mismatch there. And a miscue, passing it back out. Nine point game. Travel. Oh. I was trying to use the screen. Travel. Great job defensively. Stanford hasn't scored in almost three minutes. And the half left, Ledger Walker says, count it. America to take to the line. Wow, this could be a five-point play. Yep. Foul. And gets the first. Again, can't overstate this enough. Washington State has never beaten Stanford. <laughs> Shot clock. Down to five, and they're going to get Ledger Walker with the reach in. Bring Dimitri in the line, shooting two. Be Dimitri to the stripe. Does not get to the line much. Yeah. Stanford 12 of 15, but Washington State has only taken six. Hits them both. That stops the 11 0 run that Washington State had going. So the two possession game with three, almost a bank make. Instead, Brink with a rebound. And Villa has to commit the personal. Yeah, maybe he didn't absolutely have to commit it. She said, nope, go up, put him to the line. Boy, the difference in this game for me is Brooke Dimitri. I mm -hmm. thought she has come up big. 12 points, four rebounds, two assists, and some great defense. Let me just put a nail in it right here. Right here. Washington will be here to face Stanford on Sunday. We'll have that one for you here on Pac-12 Network. Long rebound, another chance. Won't go. And the Cougs won't foul. Stanford fought off multiple charges by Washington State in this one. Good sports for Schiff from Kiki Iriopin. The Cougs improving. And they're going to have their hands full against Cal on Sunday. And Washington, I'm sure, will be ready to play as well. Yeah, what a game. Two great coaches. Impressive second half for Stanford.